Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to prove that the integral of the probability density function of a wavelet distribution with limits where its domain is defined is equal to 1. Now to introduce this wavelet distribution, wavelet distribution is a continuous probability distribution with a probability density function or PDF shown in here. Gamma over beta x raised to gamma minus 1, e raised to negative x raised to gamma over beta, where the domain x is defined from 0 to infinity, the parameter gamma is defined to be greater than 0, and also this parameter beta is defined to be greater than 0. Now let's start with our proof. Let me copy this one in here. The limits in here is from here, x is from 0 to infinity, so we have here 0 to infinity. This one, function of x given the parameters gamma and beta, is a general notation for our probability density function, which is equal to this one. So let us use this one in place of this one. So we have this one from here. Then this gamma over beta is a constant, so we can move this one outside of this integral, so we have this one from here. Then in order to simplify this integral expression, we need the use of the gamma function, which is defined to be b gamma of alpha is equal to integral of t raised to alpha minus 1 times e raised to negative t dt from 0 to infinity. Now, in order to simplify this one using this one, we need to make them similar. Let us first make this t to be equal to this x raised to gamma over beta. So we have here, let t is equal to x raised to gamma over beta. Then from here, x is equal to beta t raised to 1 over gamma. Then distributing this 1 over gamma for its term here, we have beta raised to 1 over gamma times t raised to 1 over gamma. Then for dx, the only variable in here is t, so we have 1 over gamma times b raised to 1 over gamma, which is a constant, then times t raised to 1 over gamma minus 1, dt. Now substituting this in here, We'll get for x let us use this one which is beta raised to 1 bar gamma times t raised to 1 bar gamma in here then it is raised to gamma minus 1 so we have here raised to gamma minus 1 for this x raised to gamma over beta which is same with this one we can use this t in place of this one so we have here just t then for dx we have this one so we can use this one in here in place of dx now for the limits, if x is 0, in here we have 0 raised to constant, which is greater than 0 still 0, and 0 divided by constant, which is greater than 0 still 0. So we have here, t is 0 when x is 0. Now if x is infinity, we have here infinity raised to constant, which is greater than 0 still infinity, and infinity divided by constant which is greater than 0 still infinity. So we have here, t is infinity when x is infinity. Then let us move the constants outside of this integral. We have, for beta we have, this 1 over gamma times gamma minus 1 is 1 minus 1 over gamma. So we have this one, 1 minus 1 over gamma. This 1 over gamma in here is in here, plus 1 over gamma. Then this 1 over gamma in here is in here. Then for those terms remaining in this integral, we have t raised to 1 over gamma times gamma minus 1 is 1 minus 1 over gamma, which is this one. Then plus this 1 over gamma minus 1 is this one, plus 1 over gamma minus 1. So we have here e raised to negative t in here, then dt in here. Now we can cancel out this gamma in here and gamma in here, this minus 1 over gamma in here, and plus 1 over gamma in here. Then we have here beta raised to 1, which is just beta. Then divide by beta, so we can cancel out this beta in here and this beta in here. So we're left with just 1. Then for this one, we have minus 1 over gamma plus 1 over gamma, which we can cancel. Then we have here 1 minus 1, which we can cancel also. Then we're left with here is t raised to 0 or just 1. So what we're left with is 
1 times e raised to negative t in here, e raised to negative t, then dt. Then the integral of this one is just negative of e raised to negative t to be evaluated from 0 to infinity. Then substituting this infinity for t in here, we'll have negative infinity. And e raised to negative infinity is this one, which is equal to 1 over e raised to infinity. And then it is equal to 1 over infinity since e raised to infinity is infinity. Then 1 over infinity is 0, so we have 0. Then negative of 0 is still 0, so we have here 0 when we substitute this infinity for t. Then minus, if we substitute this 0 for t, we have negative 0 or just 0. And e raised to 0 is 1, so we have here negative 1. So we have here negative 1. And then minus of negative 1 is plus 1. So now we have the constant 1 that we need for our proof. So this ends our proof that the integral of the probability density function of a wavelet distribution with limits where its domain is defined is equal to 1.